It's time to talk about Cardano. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Cardano ADA had a great month of April in a multitude of areas. We're going to break down why this is so important for the longevity of ADA. And of course, we're into the new month in May, and we have not really seen altcoins have a massive push. Now, there's been obviously some small cap meme coins that have taken the space by storm, but we're talking about the dominant altcoins. They really haven't had their day, but there are some things behind the scenes going on with Cardano that should make us very, very bullish on the long-term outlook of ADA, and we're going to dive into some of those in this video. Make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's dive in to this article because Again, very interesting month of April. While the price action did come back a little bit, we've given some of that back. Now, Cardano has recorded some really impressive growth in April with over 65 million transactions. So the Cardano Foundation has released their on-chain data for April. Now, according to the published graphic, there were 65.6 million total transactions just in April alone. That's an increase of about 2.5%. In March, the number of wallets stood at 64 million, implying an increase of a million wallets within a month. Might not sound like a crazy amount, but that is, really. I mean, when you look over month to month, you're talking about 12 million on average in a bear market per year, right? So Cardano on-chain stats says, let's keep growing Cardano community. Now, here's what's interesting. At the same time, the overall number of wallets increased by 1.19% to 4.07 million, the number of delegated wallets increased only slightly by 0.6. Now, Plutus scripts were also up 3.53% throughout the specified period, reaching, uh, reaching close to 5,500. And there were 72,000 more minting policies, an increase of 1.37%. Now, Fluid Token's peer-to-peer -to -peer leading protocol will be moving to Aiken as its programming language for smart contract development. This is bullish for Cardano. The project and the wider Cardano ecosystem are expected to greatly benefit from this choice. Utilizing Aiken has the advantage of making smart contract scripts smaller, which lowers costs. On Cardano, smart contract fees are determined by the size of the script that implements the contract. Aiken is intended to be simple and user-friendly, making it much, much easier for developers to write and manage smart contracts. Remember, this is what Cardano was trying to do, obviously, and what is uh, what they've already done with their major upgrades in the last couple of years. And this, of course, uh, without relying on external dependencies, right? Being able to manage smart contracts for developers, streamlining that process, is what Cardano, one of the things Cardano is trying to do here to bring in more developers into their ecosystem. But this is bullish news as 65 million transactions happened in April. Again, a boost of about 1 million transactions month over month from March to April. And uh, we'll continue to track this. And Cardano, as we've mentioned many, many times, it's not a fast mover, but it is a long-term play, in my opinion. Of course, not financial advice. Do your own due diligence, but it's one of my top three holdings in the entire crypto space. Appreciate you guys as always. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.